Hey everybody, it's Jen. Um, I know this is a very weird angle. I'm going to do my um, sort of declutter of my cabinets and my sort of vanity area. Um, so the camera is facing down because I will be putting my products in front of you guys here and going through them, uh, maybe swatching and stuff like that. So I just wanted to have it right in front of me. I'm going to get started right away because I have a lot to go through. Um, I will be posting pictures uh, for you guys in the video of the vanity and each drawer so you can see it because my camera is like ancient old. It's so old that the battery no longer works in the camera and I have to keep it plugged in all the time, which is why it's angled like this. So I apologize for that, but I will include pictures of each individual um, uh, drawer sorry and yeah I'll just go ahead and show you guys I have some stuff right in front of me here now so I'm gonna start with this extremely juvenile looking little case here which I picked up at Hot Topic for like 99 cents which is why I got it it just stores some stuff really really easily and nicely um, on the top you can see I have some products, um, lashes, little samples of lipsticks, etc. This is stuff that I use uh, just on the go when I have um, like one makeup application on a client. So I just grab this little guy and go basically. Um, but it's just there's stuff in here that I just don't want to use on clients. So I'm just going to go through this and put some stuff in the garbage. Probably not donate any. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do yet with that. but. Yeah, we'll just go through that together. So these lashes are brand new. I got them for $2.50. Um, so I'm going to hang on to those because they're really cute. Um, these little lipstick samples I'm going to hang on to as well. These are Avon samples. And what I basically do is tell the clients to pick a color in here um, that they like or I'll pick one for them and then they can, uh, we'll use it on them, on their application and then they can just take this with them to the event so that they have the same color to take with them on the go and they don't have to worry about touching up with the product that I have but they may not have. So I'm going to hang on to those. Um, this is my little tart sample that I got and and I really dislike this for myself but it works great on clients with dry lids so I will hang on to that as you guys can see I am a freak about putting things in little baggies because if it spills I don't want all my products to go bad so that's gonna be hung on to um, these little things I'm gonna hang on to as well because they're just like I put my black liner and stuff like that in there just quickly for on the go so I don't lug everything around this I'm going to keep as well because it is a, a great contour and also it is good for foundation. Um, this is a tart sample so again really great for people with dry skin and stuff like that. Not so much for me but definitely for people with dry skin. So again I'll hang on to that. Um, this I will keep because it is wrapped still. This is still good. These are still great. These are these little hard candy concealer sticks. Um, I believe these two mascaras are fine like I usually buy really inexpensive mascara this was like three dollars this was like two ninety nine or something like that I think about the same and basically again I'll use this on a client and then I'll give them the mascara um, it's all included in the price so they can just take the mascara with them and have it um, rather than going through spoolies it's also nice to give the client something to take with them as well so I'll keep those because I still have obviously some clients I have to work on um, these two, I'm going to actually pass on this one. This one's khaki and it is still like a really good eye pencil. Of course it breaks so maybe it's not. Um, but it is really old. Like I think this is from 2004. So this is going to go in the garbage because it's just a little bit old and clearly it just totally broke off on my hand. So that's totally garbage. Um, but this one I'm going to keep because it was... I think last year's summer collection and it's just a really cute warm brown tone and it's kind of like coppery brown so I'll hang on to that um, inside there's just a bunch of like eyeshadow powders etc so these ones are old and I'm pretty sure I think I'm gonna pass those along or dispose of them um, they work okay but they're really gritty and powdery just not something that I want to use on a client so I think I might pass on that this one I have not even used I opened it but I have not even used it so again it's just sort of like okay but extremely gritty on the fingers 
But those are really nice colors, so I might pass these along to people because, I don't know, just they're not for me for something that I want to use. Um, so this is the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless, um, what do you call that? Primer? Poreless Filler Primer? Primer? <laughs> um, I don't mind this, but I just find it's very much like a silicone-based product. I'm not sure if it even has it in it, but it just feels really um, slimy and super, super slick, which is, it's really nice, obviously, if you want your face to feel super nice and slick, but um, I'll just, I'll use this on clients that have dry skin, so... I'll hang on to that. It's just not good for me personally, which is kind of why it's in my kit. Um, this highlighter, I really, I really don't like this highlighter, but because I wear a lot of makeup, so it's in my kit because I have two of these. Ones, one I kept for myself and one I put in here, which hasn't even been touched yet. And basically it's just too light for me, but it's really nice on clients that don't wear a lot of makeup. So this is kind of perfect for um, people that just don't wear so much makeup on their face. Um, and then I have some NYX blushes in here that I'm going to keep in here. Again, they're not pigmented enough for myself, but I do like them on clients. And then this Happy Booster Physicians Formula bronzing beads, uh, little heart-shaped beads, which are all right. Um, I hate beads, like the bead formula. I prefer it pressed. So this is okay, but again, it's nice and, and soft and neutral for clients that don't wear a lot of makeup, but for myself, it just doesn't have enough impact. Um, this is my CoverGirl BB cream, and it's okay. Um, I don't love it, but it's nice for clients, again, for just something tinted if they have really beautiful skin already, and I don't really want to cake product on. This is all right to moisturize and tint the skin, and then we can just go in with a really nice um, sort of sheer powder on top, so I'm going to hang on to that for now. Again, I have lipsticks and lip glosses. Um, so these are, I think, all NYX, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and again, they're so inexpensive that I will either tell a client to, um, you know, I'll put it on, I'll pick one of these to put on them, and I'll give them one to take with them, or I will just kind of maybe think of breaking these up into a lipstick palette and maybe just use it that way. I'm not really sure. But these are super, like, pinky frosted lipstick. There's a nice coral color in here. Um, but basically, this is more so for like bridesmaids or like you know cute like something for um, bridal party or baby shower or something where you don't want to have like an overpowering look but you just still want to have it cute and frosty and noticeable so that's kind of why I got those for this little small to go kit and last but not least which I will keep is my elf um, high definition powder and this is in uh, is that shimmer sheer pardon me so this is basically the sheer one it just kind of goes over um, any powder that or sorry foundation that you've put on the skin that you just want to set so I'm gonna hang on to that because I definitely need that for sure so I have this little package that I got at the dollar store and this is from Canada so if you're in the US I'm not sure if you can get that I just put some napkins just in case I want to wipe my hands off and then some um, popsicle sticks for scraping product out of um, pots and things and so in the front is all my lip glosses and some extra lotion so I'm gonna go through those because I don't really wear a lot of lip gloss and this is pretty much all I have really so it's not a lot but I'll go through this with you guys anyway I just picked this little guy up yesterday actually. This is my MAC lip gloss in see-through and it's the little sample bottle. So I love this and I'm not going to get rid of that. Um, I also have two um, other lip glasses from MAC. This one is from the Alluring Aquatic Collection in Modern Lure which is a dark color. And this one, I'll show you guys. I don't know why I'm not showing you. So it looks like that. It's basically gorgeous and I love it. And I'm actually shocked that I can wear these because I really hate any kind of lip gloss kind of thing but these ones work really well and then I also have this lip gloss in pink lemonade so I'll keep that one as well because it's a wonderful product and I've used so much of it already I can't even believe it uh, and then I have this which is my sensual body lotion it's aromatherapy kind from Bath and Body Works and I really really love this so much it just smells gorgeous it's really overpowering so if you can't stand really strong scents you probably won't like this but I love it and then I got this um, peach hand cream free with purchase from Mary Kay and I, I probably won't use it. I don't even think I've opened it. 
no I haven't even used this so rather than like smelling it and looking at it and stuff I may even give this one away so I'm just gonna put this aside maybe yeah I'm not sure it'll find a good home later but for now I'm like not even gonna open it and then I have uh, these NYX, these are Extreme Lip Cream, there's these two here, and I actually think this one is as well. Yeah, so these three are the Extreme Lip Creams. This one is in, where is the name? Oh, Natural. This one is in Dolly Girl. This one is in absolute red and this one is a soft matte lip cream and this one is in Istanbul and I really don't mind these at all except I think I'm gonna chuck this natural one because I'm not sure if you can even tell but the top is broken on it and it just gets everywhere and it really smells old and disgusting so so yeah, um, I just, I'm going to garbage this because it's stinky and broken, like there's a broken cap on it. Um, I'm debating on these three what I want to do. Um, I just swatched them, so this one right here is the Dolly Pink, I think that's called Dolly, oh Dolly Girl, part of me, which is really cute over candy yum yum lipstick by MAC. It's really adorable and it kind of matches, but it smells, so I think I'm going to throw that in the garbage. Um, also this absolute red is just stunning and I'm gonna keep that because it doesn't smell that bad right now so <laughs> I'm just gonna hang on to that for now and then this soft lip cream in Istanbul is right here and it's gorgeous and it kind of reminds me of like pink plaid or please me from Mac so I'm gonna hang on to that one as well because I'm just about done that and the last three lip glosses that I have are from NYX and this one is actually really close to Pink Lemonade um, from the MAC Lip Glass Collection. So I'll probably um, get rid of that because I don't need it. And I'm going to get rid of these ones as well. I was thinking about hanging on to these for my kit, which I might do um, because these are really pretty. But I just find the scent for myself is just too much and I can't handle it. And I probably won't wear that because I just, if I can't even handle the smell out of the bottle, I don't know how I'm going to handle that on my lips. So I'm going to pass on those, but I will put them aside and decide what I want to do with those a little bit later. Um, the other things that I have in here are my Purell hand lotion, my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, uh, my Natural Radiance Prep and Prime. Um, this is my primer in natural, not in natural radiance, in radiant pink. I always say that. And last but not least in here I have my brush cleaner. So all of those I keep because um, I need them and I have really no other place to store these. This drawer fits everything that's super tall. So that's pretty much it for that. Alright, in the next drawer I have a ton of paper, some manuals, I just keep excess paper around in case I think of um, YouTube video ideas and stuff like that and like maybe I see a video and there's something that I want to buy so I write it down. Um, I have one of my watches in here, this is like a bunch of receipts, like just for makeup just in case I don't want to keep it and then I get rid of it. Um, this is... A backup of my kabuki brush from elf which is adorable but I have one and I also have a kabuki brush from Sedona lace so I probably I don't know if I'm gonna hang on to that or if I'm gonna gift that or something um, also I have my little mini brushes that I take on trips with me this is like literally super extra mini brushes like my hand is bigger than this so the brushes are really tiny but it comes in handy for like an overnight or something then I have some room sprays and a ton, like I mean a ton of extra elf brushes. Um, so I don't even know what I'm going to do with these yet. I think I'm just going to wait and go through them later because I mean I can always use backups. I can take these in my kit and everything. So I think I might just hang on to everything in this drawer for now. And yeah, I'm going to move on to the next one. Alright, so this next drawer is basically all of my makeup bags. I have a ton of them and I do like to hang on to these because um, they come in handy when I go places and like some are specific to brushes, some are specific to products, some fit palettes. So I'm going to keep all those. I have a ton of these um, individual brush packages where I bought the brushes and they've just been like sitting there in my drawer in case I want to put the brush back in but like I don't understand why I would need that so um, I think just I might keep a couple like 
I'll hang on to my quill cool ones and some of these bigger elf ones in case there are brushes I want to wash and put away again. But um, in all reality, I don't really have a reason to hang on to all this, so I'm going to probably throw this. So my next three drawers are in my um, red kind of drawer set. Those three drawers don't have anything in them that I want to dispose of. There is basically like my excess um, makeup pads, like cotton pads and Q-tips and then my washing mitt. Sometimes I put my towel in there too, it's just in the wash right now. And then I have some drawer, like, em like one empty drawer basically with the plastic inserts and then a few extra samples of my OCC lip tars which I'll probably never go through and I'll keep those for now but um yeah I'm not going to do anything with those three drawers so let's move on to the next drawer which and this is basically like my palettes and I really honestly like I don't foresee myself getting rid of any of my palettes because I did get rid of um, the little Revlon ones so what I'll basically do when I go to um, do a client or something is I'll just grab something out of here this is one that I'm not 100% in love with I will keep it it's the ammo palette I'm not in love with it like at all basically um, but I do take it on trips with me because it has a, look, a little variety of colors and so I'll put that in the center of the lid or all over the lid if I'm just like going shopping or something but in all reality like all these other palettes like my Urban Decay ones from the Great and Powerful Oz movie. Um, I just got these, which are my Kat Von D palettes. These are basically smaller palettes. This is a face case that I got from Urban Decay that was like seriously on clearance. And then I got these two, which is the Feminine palette and the Dangerous palette, and I don't plan on getting rid of those. So yeah, this drawer is a little emptier. So I, like, there's nothing in here that I really want to get rid of. So I'm just going to leave this palette alone. If you guys want to see any of these, like just let me know if you want to see them open and swatches and whatever. I know ones like these, the Lorac Sweet Romance Eye and Cheek palette, you probably can't get that anymore. So if you guys want to see some of those limited edition or anything, just like let me know in the comments line. So basically I call this my mother load drawer because it has every single palette that I am totally in love with. Um, this is like my number one palette right here. I use this in pretty much every single look. I have my chocolate bar palette. Um, I have my Makeup Geek palettes. Those two plus some little excess ones. This one's Mary Kay. And I can't tell you where those ones came from. I think these are a Hot Topic and that I don't even know. Probably CoverGirl or something. Um, this is my Take Me To Brazil and my Electric palette from Urban Decay. So I have those. Let me know if you guys want to see you know swatches or anything. I have swatches of my Makeup Geek but it's so old and the lighting is terrible and I'm gonna redo a new one once I get a new camera but that won't be for a while. Um, and then I have all my Mac so I have that. I have this Mac palette which has mostly like blues and grays and stuff like that and this is like my reds and purples and oranges and stuff and corals. And then I have my Lorac 1 and 2, my Lorac Unzipped, um, my return to set or return of sexy and I'm not in love with this at all I should probably actually use this but I'm thinking I might put this in a future project pan um, it's stunning like this is great for brides and like people going to parties and stuff like that New Year's so I might keep that in my kit um, and then I have all my naked palettes so if you guys want to see like a video on all this stuff just let me know but I'm gonna keep all these babies because I love them I know I'm so super close up, um, sorry about that, my camera is really close to the table and I don't want to adjust it right now, um, but this is my go-to drawer and I use this every day, this is the top drawer that's right beside me, so it basically has everything I need essentially for every day. So in the front it has like all my little mini, um, what do you call those, uh, primers, my eye primers and my lash glue and it has this tart tinted cream, I ain't going to use that so I'm going to take that out of there. Um, and I also have a little primer sample from Bare Minerals which I want to use and I have my little cotton pads in just one of those little trays and I have sharpeners and um, you know spongies and dental floss 
and my two kabukis so here's my one from Sedona here's my one from elf the elf one is like so soft and huge and the Sedona is like a little bit smaller and but it's still super super soft uh, and then I have hair clips which I use in like every video because I want my hair off my face so you guys can actually see what I'm doing um, and then I have just some like crazy tons of these little Mac sample jars because um, I basically fill these up with my products so you'll see them in my in my upcoming drawers um, I basically fill those up so that I have them close to me and I can use them daily rather than pulling out everything it's just a little small and compact and then I have two Anastasia de brow pomades in one in dark and um, dark brown and one in soft brown I have concealers this is from um, Femme Couture this is Sally's products and this is a MAC um, soft ochre paint pot so yeah and then I have down the line here um, some toothpicks some primers that I want to use Urban Decay samples I want to use those up um, I have post-it notes for like stickies and also sometimes I use them under my eyes I have lots of bobby pins I have um, like hard Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealers, my Mary Kay Lip Scrub and Balm, which is like so amazing. Um, yeah, I have my Too Faced Glitter. Um, I have two of these that have the original, and I also have Sin. Those are the primer potions. You guys know what those are about. And then down the um, end of the drawer here, I have my Lise Wache Bronzer, which is phenomenal, and I should totally do a tutorial using this because it's stunning. I don't even know if you can get it anymore. Um, obviously eyelash curlers, my tweezer man tweezers, and fix plus, not fix plus, studio fix, I always call this fix plus, and my prep and prime translucent powder from MAC. So this is staples that I use every single day, this is staying with me. So again, um, I'm going to move on to my Alex drawers now.